violent extremism in general and white supremacist extremism in particular to be the most persistent and lethal threat facing the nation. So the writing has been on the wall. There just has been a sort of unwillingness to accept that danger from our own citizens um, and the threat to our own democracy coming sort of from within the house. Welcome back, viewer. I'm Drone Tech. Remember that psychotically long list of things that are racist that I listed off a couple weeks ago? Being on time, delayed gratification, the nuclear family, the scientific method, national parks, car accidents, the body mass index, math, lunch, coffee, dogs, black holes, hating body odor, football, <laughs> Deers, cameras, bikes, hiking, Thanksgiving, crypto, reading and writing, resumes, supermarkets, butter, rice, syrup, enjoying the rain, sleeping, shark week, <laughs> gas stoves, eating meat, and <laughs> I could literally go on like this for at least 10 more minutes. But we'll just go ahead and add tree mascots to the schizophrenic list. Good, great. Grand, wonderful. Well, today we're going to add a few more items to that endlessly growing schizophrenic list of things that are supposedly racist. According to one of MSNBC's more delusional white supremacy conspiracy theorists, health and fitness are now signs of white supremacy afoot. <laughs> Her Twitter post reads, quote, the far right's obsession with fitness is going digital. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. There's just so much wrong with this one sentence. Fitness as an obsession? In America? According to the World Health Organization, America is the fattest OCED country on earth. Based on Cynthia's logic, that would mean that America's not very white supremacist. But then again, that data is based on the body mass index, which of course is racist. BMI is a form of colorblind racism. And when doctors use it unquestioningly, they are reproducing racist scientific ideas. How about new? It appears the far right has taken advantage of pandemic at-home fitness trends to expand its decade-plus radicalization of physical mixed martial arts and combat sports spaces? Well, <laughs> at-home fitness and mixed martial arts to that ever-growing list of racist Nazi plots. Is there a shadowy, nefarious conspiracy that the far right isn't behind? Strange how we never hear the term far left, which almost implies that the people making these charges are so far left, everyone, including white people who stay fit, are actually inhuman, monstrous Nazis. Accusing mixed martial arts of being part of a racist Nazi plot is new and incredibly strange. Since people of all colors and ethnic backgrounds compete and succeed in mixed martial arts, some of the best, most respected mixed martial arts fighters of all time are black. This is my African brother right here. Let's go. What's up? Let's go. What's up? Get don't do but then again, they've covered their bases on that too, because now anyone can be a white supremacist because it's just a dehumanizing label that people in our media and government can use to shut up people they don't like. Earlier this month, researchers reported that a network of online fascist fitness chat groups on the encrypted platform Telegram are recruiting and radicalizing young men with neo-Nazi and white supremacist extremist ideologies. Initially lured with health tips and strategies for positive physical changes, new recruits are later invited to closed chat groups where far-right content is shared. So you're telling me that gym class was really far-right Nazi indoctrination. In Mein Kampf, Hitler fixated on boxing and jujitsu, believing they could help him create an army of millions whose aggressive spirit and impeccably trained bodies, combined with fanatical love of their fatherland, would do more for the German nation than any mediocre tactical weapons training. So let me get this straight. Health, fitness, and now mixed martial arts are all part of a racist Nazi plot because Hitler wanted his army to be strong and fit. You mean like every other army on the planet ever? She's saying that the Marine Corps is a Nazi fascist training camp? Because they're expected to be fit and strong. They also use mixed martial arts for training. You know something I just thought of? They also breathe air and require food to live just like Nazis. You're 
crazy son of a bitch, you did. What the hell is going on in our country? We're being bombarded with propaganda, telling us all the things that make a successful person, no matter what color you are, are all part of a monstrous conspiracy by racist white people. Combined with the endless push to disarm the country, you really have to start wondering what the end game is here. If, according to our government and media, being healthy and fit makes you a Nazi, then you have to conclude that is to justify taking some kind of extreme action against you. Just like Putin justified his invasion of a Ukraine by claiming that he was fighting Nazis. He obviously sees the West's tactics and is now emulating them. What do you all think? Am I on to something or just a nut? Let me know in the comments after you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.